In this video, we're going to look at something called the Consumer Price Index. Consumer Price Index measures the average change in prices over time. So we have our designated reference period uh, set to equal 100, and we can compare different time periods um, before and after our reference period. So in this example, our reference period is 1982 to 1984. So we can see that before uh, that time period, prices were less, these numbers are less than 100, and after, prices were more, because these numbers are greater than 100. So the ratio of the CPI in two different years is equal to the ratio of two of the same things. So we could um, look at price of milk, price of car, salaries, uh, anything like that that we want to look at in those two years. So the ratio is kind of the key idea here. We're going to be writing ratios. So our question that we're looking at is what net annual salary in 2016 would have the same purchasing power as a net annual salary of $13,000 in 1960? So um, we are looking at the salary in 2016. That's going to be what we want to find. So I'm going to set that equal to x. And I want to know um, what salary would have the same purchasing power as a salary of $13,000 in 1960. So x over $13,000 ratio. And um, the, that's the ratio of two of the same things. So salary in 2016 over salary in 1960. And then we uh, use the index numbers from the CPI to write the other ratio. So in 2016, uh, the index was 241.7. So 241.7. And then in 1960, the index value was 29.6. So this is an equation that I want to solve for x. So in order to do that, uh, there's a few different ways you can think about it. I like to think about multiplying both sides by 13,000 to get rid of that 13,000 uh, in the denominator there. So I know that x equals 241.7 times 13,000 divided by 29.6. And if I do that on my calculator, I get that x equals 106,000, $152 and 3 cents. Uh, you do want to pay attention when you're doing homework problems to how they want you to round numbers. Um, make sure that you're reading that. Generally with money, it would be round to the nearest cent. Some problems may ask you to round to the nearest dollar. Um, just kind of be aware of that, that you're not getting answers marked wrong for uh, incorrect rounding. So what this is telling us is that a person who made a salary in 1960 of $13,000 a year would be able to buy the same amount of stuff as a person in 2016 who made a salary of $106,000 per year.